Yes. Are there any expansion exercises you recommend or practice to bring in more money to really grow and open the container to more clients? So everything in this course, um, it's like this, this course has all been the energetic pieces and we've been doing practices as well. That, and all of the emotional release practices are part of that as well. But in terms of to really grow and open the container to more clients, okay, hold your expand. Okay, so everyone close your eyes. And I want you to tune into your womb space because your womb space is where you get to hold all of your creations and everything that you're wanting and desiring. Your room has infinite access and infinite av availability to hold, um, but she can only hold what's true to her in the moment. So just because I can hold this container of 100 women right now doesn't mean that my womb has always been able to do that. So just tuning into the womb space. And I want you to just Im imagine that your womb, like, your womb has the physical, the physical part of your womb, and then there's the energetic of your womb. So I want you to imagine that the energetic of your womb, which is the shape of your actual womb, is expanding to your whole entire room. So the room that you're in now, like your womb is the size of the room energetically. And then I want you to expand that a little bit more. We're not going to go too far out, but just like maybe even the size of your house, like you're expanding your womb's capacity to hold. You're allowing more spaciousness in here. And then I want you to feel, what am I currently holding in my womb space? And can I hold more? Or am I set? Like, is what I'm holding already, like space for two clients or space for three or space for one program or space for 20K month, whatever it is that you're holding, my beloved comes in next month. Can your womb actually hold that? Because it's not just holding it in this moment. What you, what, what you allow your womb to hold is what your womb can hold always because you're a living, breathing, manifesting machine in every single moment. And so don't put too much in there. Like I'm on a stage next month. Like, no, my womb is like, no, oh my God. Just like contracting like hell when I said that. What do I actually want to hold in my womb? What is, what is the capacity that I have right now that my womb has that I can hold right now? And so if you want to attract more clients or better clients or higher paying clients or more aligned clients, hold that in your womb that that is already happening. You don't need to try, your womb is holding it for you. It's like your womb space is holding space for that to happen. So on another timeline, or if we look into the future, it already has happened. And your womb gets to hold space for all of your desires in any moment, okay? And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And you know, it's, you have to, be the person that they want to hire as well. So if you look at your day, if you look at your life, if you look at what you're thinking, what you're eating, what you're watching, what you're tuning into, would the people that you want and how many people that you want be attracted to the energy field that you're creating in your life? That's a really good question to ask yourself. Love that exercise. Perfect. Okay, so I have here attracting better clients. Um, okay, so yeah, be the person that they need to up level, right? So that's why it's like looking at your own energetic field, because if your own energetic field is like wonky um, and like ha you're, let's say you do one yoga practice, but then you are in scarcity for the rest of the week. Like, is that someone that those people, that those clients want to hire? So can you actually make the personal shifts in your own life, not only for you, but for the fact that you want to hold more space and that you know that you're holding this kind of space in your womb. So it's like your womb can then inform everything that you do during your day 
and all of your action sets and all of your beliefs and all of your thoughts, because it's, it's coming from that womb space of like, here's what my womb can hold. Here's what my womb wants. Here's what's coming. Here's what's happening. And then I'm going to listen to my womb. That's going to guide me to all of these different things so that I may be an embodiment of what I want to, of the, of, for the people that I want to call in, right? Like the people that I want to call in need me to treat myself in this way, 